Hi guys, it has been a few weeks and I am just coming to do a quick update before I completely finish um, the children's nursery, the baby's nursery. I finally, finally um, finished painting out the second bed. It literally took me three weeks. I didn't even realize that much time had went by. I stopped and I did not get started back. <laughs> So it literally took me three weeks to finish painting out the second bed. And it turned out great, of course. Um, I just finished it, actually painting it on yesterday. Um, and it turned out wonderful. It's not perfect, but you can't see that. It looks perfect. So finally got the second bed. The changing table is attached to that. It's made to that. And then this is the other bed, the first one that I painted out. And then we have the playpen here and of course we have the three bassinets here um, and so yeah I am in the process of finishing up the nursery so it's a little messy in here still but we finally got the base all um, painted out and now I can actually come in and decorate this room and finish pulling this room together for my beautiful babies. I am reborn pregnant with two babies. I have the beautiful Tiffany from Ashton Drake Galleries. Um, she's a beautiful, beautiful baby. And I've wanted her from the very first um time that I started back in January collecting. She was the first baby on Ashton Drake that I saw that I really liked. And when I got ready to purchase her, she, they were out of stock. So I waited and then I got busy. And when she came back in stock, I was in the process of moving, so I couldn't buy any babies. But anyway, I got her. She's en route to me. She should be here sometimes next week. And then um, I found a beautiful little... 14 and a half inch preemie baby boy who is very similar to one of the baby boys that I have already and um, He's going to be his fraternal twin. They're not identical. Of course. They don't look alike exactly but they um, If not the same kit, it's a similar kit because they both are the same exact size They both are preemie boys and they both are absolutely beautiful and they have the most mesmerizing eyes So the baby that I already have his name is Connor Dwayne and his twin is going to be Cody the one and so he should be here next week he's already shipped out and so his adoption papers and everything has already been secured so he should be here and i think i was looking at three other babies that were really 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 cheap and um um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get those because I really have some landscaping and other things that I'm doing. So I can't be using all of my funds on babies. I'm really trying to um, get some things around my house done. So I have to really be um, mindful that um, I've spent as much as I need to right now on on um, on babies. <laughs> Needless to say. But anyway, I'm going to finish off this nursery. I'm trying not to let y'all see all of my mess. But those are bags and clothes and things that need to be hung in the closet. And I just have not had a chance. I'll spin around to get the closet organized. Because, of course, I've been still trying to get everything together. But um, their diaper pail and their scale and um, all the formula and all that stuff is still up in there. But now that I got this room... Um, the beds put together. I can actually go ahead and finish this room out. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to put everything. So this might change. The beds might be in a different <laughs> location. Um, I think I like this setup pretty much because I wanted a bed on each wall. And then um, I think I'm going to have this side for the boys over here. And then I think I'm going to have this side for the girls. And then again, I might have this side for the girls. And then this side for the boys. I was going to use that blue for the boys since it is blue. But it's pink on the inside. But it's blue. So I might just use that side there for the boys. And then this side over here for the girls. And of course I have way more girls than I do boys. 
And so these bassinets are actually for the girls as well. I do have a couple of baskets that I'll be using. I have a couple of sleeping plays that are going to be going in here as well. So they'll be sitting in here somewhere. Maybe one there and one here. One here and one there. That's probably how I have those set up. One on this side and one on that side. And then I can bring all those beautiful babies in here. And we can get this room set up. Um, and get them back into their rightful place. And then when the new two babies come next week. Everything already be together. Um, I'm going to get some um, other things just to bring the room together and make it official. So I am working on doing that. And so between today and tomorrow, I'm going to have this room completely pulled together. Um, and then I'll be able to move those babies back in, back in here. So yeah, this is it. Finally. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I'm going to be doing some, um, putting some of that blue material around this this um, bed here and probably around this one I got like I said some other things I want to do to pull this room together the look together and then make the beds of course and all that good stuff so I'm working and I got a few pillows that I need to make to go in the beds and a few things so I'm going to be working on pulling it all together I just wanted to do this because um, I need this video to show what it looked like before I completely finished it and now that that bed is completely together, my nephew was able to come and put it up for me. Such a blessing. Um, he has five babies, real babies. <laughs> so um, I knew he would know how to put the bed together. My son was supposed to do it, but he's working today. So um, he wasn't able to get over here and take care of it. So my nephew came and took care of it for me. So now I just have to pull everything together. I have to say, these beds turned out beautiful. Really, really did. I mean, like I said, um, it's ooh, not perfect, but it looks perfect. It actually is very perfect. There's perfection and imperfection. But um, it covered for the most part. It took me forever because both of these beds were so dark. And um, once I got this bed here, I knew I had to paint it out. And I figured the bed that I had already purchased, which is basically new, this bed, um, I was like, I got to paint it because they got to look, you know, everything has to look the same. And I only, right now, I still need like a little dresser or something for some of their stuff. And I don't know, I'll have to see if I can find something like a white dresser or whatever. It would be great because I could put it here on this wall here because I don't really have anything to go there. I put one of their swing here, one of the pack and plays there, and a pack and play here, um, sleep and play um, in those two corners, and, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna work it all out, but eventually I'm gonna get this thing worked out, and I'm gonna get it finished, and I got some material and stuff here that I'm gonna use for sheets for the beds, which was the curtains that I used when they were in my closet, I made the girls a bedroom in my closet, y'all remember that video, I'm gonna use those curtains for sheets in here for the babies, so, all right, well, that's it, this video has went on long enough, um, I will come back with a finished um, update when everything is completely done. I will come back and give a finished video of um, everything once it's completely pulled together. It has taken me a month to get this done. I didn't realize it was going to take that long. But it's done now. As soon as I get it completed, I'll come back and do a video. Thank you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys. And I will see you in the very next video.